Hi everyone, Greg here. Well, here we are in beautiful Bundaberg still, and today we have come to GP Wits. They do a traditional fish and chips, but traditional what? It's got some good Google reviews, and we want to find out what the traditional fish and chips is like up here in Bundaberg, so how about we go in and get one, see what it's like. Let's do it. So we've come down to the beautiful Baldwin Swamp with all the ducks and the ibises. Have a look at this place. Oh, what a place. But anyway, let's open this traditional fish and chips up. Okay. Nice knots of paper here. That's good. Whoa. Look at that. Beautiful chips here. Bit windy. And look at this. So they've put done it separately for the fish. A couple of bits of lemon. Oh, look at that. Now today's fish is cod and it costs us $11.70. There's the size of it. It's a nice big solid piece. And we asked what the traditional part was, and that is that they cook it in lard. Whew! How good does that sound? But here we go, here's the fish and chips. How good does it look? Oh yeah, wow. Mm-mm, can't wait to dive on in. All right, well, I'll tell you what, those chips look really good. I can't wait to dive on in. He asked us if we wanted chicken salt, or normal salt. I said chicken salt, of course. Here we go. Beautiful chip with some chicken salt on it. Looks nice and crispy. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Oh. Man, these chips are some of the best I've had, I think, on my journey. They're beautiful. Nice and soft inside, crispy on the outside, and beautifully seasoned as well. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm Yum-o! All right, have a look at this fish. Now, like I said, their standard fish is the cod, and 11.70, and it is a nice big piece too. It is solid. Let's try some of this batter, cooked in lard. Mmm. Well, it's got some fish there, but I'll bite around that. Super light, super crunchy, nicely seasoned, really light actually. Wow, that's good. Let me see what color this fish is. Oh, this fish is nice and white, looks really good, looks tasty, very nice indeed. Let's get, dig some out. Oh, look at that. Nice and flaking away there. Looks great. Mmm. Really nice flavours. The fish is really light, but it's still juicy as well. Like, there's no oil on this fish either. It's, it's not oily. It, it's really good. Mmm. Okay, well... How about I get a bigger piece down this end to try together? Oh yeah. Come at me, brother. Oh. Mmm. Oh, that is so tasty. It's so juicy, but because they use the lard, it just adds this extra flavour to it and 
it's really good this could be right up there with the best that I've had so far on my journey mm. there's a little bit of grease and oil on my fingers but compared to other places there's hardly any so we've put the camera down we've been hoeing into the chips the chips are seasoned beautifully and they taste really good we were talking about the fish here Bernice reckons it's it's like KFC fish <laughs> so you thought it was really good didn't you yeah so I mean this this piece of fish here mm. oh. the crunch the lightness everything is fantastic we got two wedges of lemon so let's do a bit of a lemon test so I almost don't want to do the lemon because I just love the the batter on its own. Okay. Mm. This fish doesn't need the lemon. It's so good. It's so juicy and nice tasting. The chips are great, the batter's great. It doesn't need any sauce at all. It's just perfect on its own. It's one of the best fish and chips I've had so far on my journey. But I'm still on my journey to find the best one. Is this the best one? Well, I tell you what, I think it could be the best so far. So there you go, GP Wits Fish and Chips, right here in beautiful Bundaberg. Definitely a fish and chips you need to try if you're ever up this way. It's fantastic. And it's right in town, sort of. Yeah, it's right near some school, actually. So <laughs> if you're dropping the kids off, shout them a good old traditional fish and chips, cooked in lard. What more do you want? It's right up there, right up with the best of fish and chips so far. In fact, I think it could be right at the top of the list. Anyway, that's today's fish and chip review. GP Wets, well worth a try. Well, we're going to sit here and try and beat away these ibis and geese and ducks and all the other birds that are here trying to get a piece of GP Witch Fish and Chips. Sorry, fellas, you're not getting any. It's all for us. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. I'm on my search for the best fish and chips. See you then.